Welcome to the show today, the show Allowed to Talk, and I'm allowed to talk, and on the show today I want to talk about my Aunt Sarah, and today I'm starting the series of people in my life, and I'm not going to include everybody, but the people that I wrote about in my book, and I changed their names to protect the innocent and the others from whatever, suing, I guess, but the book was called, and I wrote it down here because I wrote it maybe five years ago, I'm not sure. But my pen name is Kay Dean, and you can find it on Amazon.com in the books. Marriage, Mind Funk, and Mindfulness. Marriage, Mind Funk, not that word. Marriage, Mind Funk, and Mindfulness. Think about what you're doing, and think about people. Think about what happened in your life, and what you believe and don't believe, and what kind of person you are whether you're a kind-hearted person or maybe in, have empathy or you're apathetic and you don't, you're not interested. But I'm always interested. And the series starts off because the chapters in the book, I think there's 18. But there's two that are not with about a person. So I have 16 people, including myself. I'm number 16. But my name is Kay Dean, my pen name for the book. K K A Y. Dean, D-E-A-N, because I'm Kate Nadine, so I took K-Dean for the book, Marriage, Mind, Funk, and Mindfulness, and I'll mention that before every person that I talk to and how it affected my life, and I was a young girl when most of a lot of this happened, a lot, under the age of 18 for most of it, and just a little bit over 18 for some of it too, and in my early 20s for some of it. But I could talk, go back to when my four, three nieces and one nephew moved in with us when I was seven or so, seven and a half, I'm not sure exactly, but around age seven. And what happened with that? But I'm just going with adults now. And of course, my Aunt Sarah is passed away. She's been gone about 20 years, I guess, give or take. I'm not sure about that. But she married my Uncle Lamar, as my song called Needy, that I sang. I will be sharing that, um, is about her. Because she was a young girl. I think she was family, maybe a cousin to my Aunt Irene. Somehow family, a cousin, something like that. I don't know if it's a cousin, a sister. Don't take my word on that. But her name is Aunt Sarah. I called her Aunt Sarah. When my Uncle Lamar, Uncle Lamar, L-A-M-A-R, Uncle, Uncle Lamar. How do you say that? I'm so Dutch if I... He was a young, handsome dude, and she was pregnant from someone else, and needy. That's why the song's needy that I wrote, that I sang today. Not the music, but the words, the lyrics. So Sarah was a young, beautiful, she was beautiful, gorgeous, coal black hair, very pretty. And uh, when she was an older woman, when I met her at first, um, I thought she was very pretty, and uh, she was pregnant already a couple months, give or take. She was already pregnant when she married my Uncle Lamar, and he was a wonderful, loving man. I was 14 when he died. He fell off. He had a heart attack and fell off of his truck because he was a truck driver, and he didn't survive the heart attack or the fall onto his head. So I was 14. That was a traumatic time for me because... I loved him so much. He used to take me into the pond swimming, and we do all kinds of fun things in the pond. Very gentle, loving, kind man, my Uncle Lamar. Well, anyway, before I was even born, he married Sarah, Aunt Sarah, and she was already pregnant. So they had the daughter. She was a girl. Yes, a daughter. And they named her Patsy. And Patsy was spoiled and... The short end of the story is that Aunt Sarah was unbearable and hard to deal with, very needy, and she treated my Uncle Lamar, Uncle Lamar, L-A-M-A-R, like crap, and he couldn't take it, he couldn't take it, but I know when we'd have shows for our Aunt Peg that came in, and Uncle Fred, they'd uh, either drive in, when they drove in, Uncle Fred was with, and when she flew in, because he hated flying, why, I don't know, I don't have that story why Uncle Fred hated to fly, but 
Aunt Peg would fly in once a year to see us from California because she moved out there when he got a job with the post office out there. And she got a job then as a bank teller and worked and retired from the bank till she moved back to Pennsylvania many, 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 many years later. But when we were little kids, we'd always have a play for Aunt Peg and Uncle Fred coming in from California or just Aunt Peg. We'd have a play. And I was in this play starting like at age four or five. And the one who supplied the costumes for these plays was Patsy, Patsy Bumberger. She died of cancer. So she has passed away. Uncle Lamar has passed away. And Aunt Sarah has passed away many years ago. So all these outfits from Patsy's dancing and lessons for ballet and whatever dancing lessons she had. Plus, I got a pair of roller skates from her when she outgrew them. They were the neatest white roller skates with white pom-poms with bells. I love those things when I go skating. I skated with Reynolds down in Washington, D.C. when I went down with my sister Nancy and my sister Barb, Barbara and Nancy. They took my older sister that's a year and four months or a year and five months older than me, Anne and me, Catherine, Kate, Kathy, whatever I got called. Just don't call me late for dinner because we are food addicts. At least I am. I, I am a food addict and trying not to be. Just like anyone who's an alcoholic. They'll always have that craving. So um, when my stomach feels better, I tend to overeat. And there's addicts in every family and there's things they turn to for comfort. 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 How do you say it? Turn for comfort. So, yeah, the first time I roller skated was in Washington, D.C., when my sister that was working down there, Nancy, um, and Barb took us down, or she came up, and we went down together, and we roller skated in this big skating rink in Washington, D.C. From then, I was hooked on roller skating. At around age 11, I was. I went skating all the time, but I got these cool skates from Patsy. I love those skates with the white pom-poms with bells. And I go skating at the casino roller rink, jingle, jingle, jingle with my belt. And I learned to skate really, really well. That's another whole story too, isn't it though? But because Aunt Sarah, and I was always told, wait till marriage, wait till marriage, which, you know, I didn't either. I'm a sinner saved by grace. But as a little kid, I was always told, wait till marriage. And I heard Uncle Lamar married someone who was already pregnant. And then she treated him so bad that he couldn't handle it anymore that he left her, divorced her, ended up marrying my Aunt Mary later in life. And then he was only married to her a couple years when the accident, when he fell off the truck as a truck driver with a minor heart attack, probably, but landed on his head and that killed him. So Aunt Sarah, the charcoal haired beauty was very needy and she favored my sister Anne. she was closer to Patsy's age who was spoiled rotten and we'd have these back to the times we'd have the plays for Aunt Peg and Uncle Fred when they'd come in from California um, or just Aunt Peg depending if he didn't want to fly um, and the club that my two older sisters started was called the Flip Flop Club it was so much fun but the costumes were from Patsy's dance lessons. There was a lot of cool costumes, and we did a lot of different skits. And one of the skits was a wedding. Well, this white, like, beautiful gown looking that could be a princess gown or a bridal gown, like a dress that was fluffy, didn't fit my sister Anne. So I was told, well, it doesn't fit her, so you're going to have to be the bride. Well, what kind of self-esteem did that do for me? But um, maybe say it a little nicer to me. It's just all me, though. It's just all my own fault that I was had empathy and compassion and saw what was going on, and I'm a truth seeker. And, yeah, let's end it here. Aunt Sarah, she's dead and gone. But she was needy. It affected my life and the things surrounding it with her daughter, Patsy, who my Uncle Lamar adopted that's another story because when my parents, um, parents, her grandma, Grandma Bumberger, Bertha and Adam passed away. She won at Uncle Lamar's portion, which, you know, with 
they had nine children. That didn't go far, so she got maybe $2,000. Then she got cancer and died shortly later. Later, um, The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, but yeah, Aunt Sarah. She was a part of it. She's one of the 16 people I'm going to be talking about here on YouTube that affected my childhood and the rest of my life with my jealousy and thinking everybody sleeps around. So just keep singing, dancing, making music, and having fun as much as possible.